everyone. Um, it is Monday. I keep thinking it's the weekend, but it's it's Monday. Uh, Monday morning. Lex is probably going to wake up any minute. I always seem to wait until he's like almost done with his nap to um, do a video. But I wanted to do a quick like kind of update on what's going on, how things are going, how we're all doing, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so today is day 11 of Eric's treatment. Um, it is day maybe 15 of him being in the hospital. He was admitted two weeks ago yesterday um, on, on su Easter Sunday. Um, so it's been a while. We're all really ready for him to be home. Um, he's really ready to be home and not have to deal with everything that he's having to deal with in the hospital. Um, I mean, he's still going to have to deal with some of it at home, but at least he'll be home. Um, and it won't be, it won't be as much and as bad and he won't be getting woken up at, you know, five in the morning for labs to be drawn and stuff like that. So, and I mean, he'll be home with us. He'll be able to sleep in his own bed. Like, we're all, we're all really looking forward to that. Um, he is tolerating everything, his treatment and everything, well. Um, the chemo, he has not really had major issues with. Um, he finished, so I don't remember when my last video was. I think it was maybe a week ago, something like that. Um, he, so he had a weekend of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, different drugs. He got four different drugs through the course of those four days um, and did well with it. Had some nausea, but like the nausea meds took care of it and he, he tolerated it really well. So then he had, yeah, so then he had the rest of the week off until Friday. And on Friday he got one drug um, and did really well with that, like really didn't even have any nausea. Had some nausea the next day, but... Um, tolerated it really well um and he is off uh, uh, he is not getting any chemo drugs again until this friday and this friday he will get the same one that he got last friday and he will also have a lumbar puncture a spinal tap um done to i think both test his spinal fluid and put chemo into his spinal fluid um and that is to protect his brain from the leukemia getting in there because they found that they were successfully treating, this is a pediatric form of leukemia, so this is, they were successfully treating kids um, and they would get them in remission and they would be great and then they would go off of treatment and they would relapse in their brains and their spinal fluid. So um, they realized that they needed to start uh, protecting that. So anyway, so he will have that done on Friday, um, and he will have that done again two weeks later, and then it'll happen again throughout the course of his treatment. We don't really know the schedule of anything once he gets out of the hospital, or really, I guess, uh, we know kind of this four-week span of treatment that he's in the middle of, um, but we don't know beyond that what the treatment's going to be like. For sure. We kind of have an idea, but we don't know for sure. So, yeah, so he um, he is also on steroids, um, which is kind of a, a big part of his treatment protocol. So he is on day 11 of a 28-day course right now of prednisone, um, and because of that, the steroids apparently have a way of uh, affecting your blood sugar and making your blood sugar go high, like it basically makes it so you can't process the carbohydrates and the sugars that you're taking in very well, so it just spills into your blood, I think. That's my understanding of it. I could be totally wrong, um, but that's my understanding of it. So he is having to have his blood sugars checked. Um, it was three times a day, and I think now it's four times a day, um, basically before meals, and now I think they've added one before he goes to bed. And he, if his blood sugar is at 150 or below, then he's fine. Um, if it is over 150, then he has to get insulin, um, and that's determined by how high it is, how much he gets. Um, his 
it, it has now only happened twice that he has not needed insulin. And most of the time, and that those two times have been like first thing in the morning. So that's like his fasting blood sugar. Um, but most of the time his blood sugar has been over 300. Um, the highest I think was 393, which is really high. Like I'm not that familiar with it, but knowing that like 150 and below is what we're aiming for, almost 400 is not good. Um, sorry. Um, so yeah, so that is another thing that he's having to deal with. Um, he has a pick line in, which I think I mentioned before, and, uh, he did too much with his arm or something, and there is now, like, a superficial blood clot. Like, not anything serious, not anything that they're really concerned about, but, um, they have increased the blood thinners that he's on. Once his platelets got up over a certain level, because he's in the hospital and, like, you know, not getting up and walking around nearly as much as, as at home he would, um, and because he has the line in, they have him on blood thinners. So instead of getting a shot once a day, he's, he's getting the shot twice a day. He's on the same thing that I was on through my pregnancy. Um, so he now has more sympathy for that. Um, like, those shots are not fun. They sting a lot. Um, so he, he kind of dreads those. He doesn't mind the blood sugar checks and he doesn't mind the insulin at all because it's like a teeny tiny little needle. But um, the Lovenox, the blood thinner, he's not a fan of. So, um, and today, so they were expecting that his counts would start to drop around day 10, which was yesterday. Um, and today they have dropped. Um, so his neutrophil count, which is kind of the type of white blood cell that we're looking at specifically is at about 100. Um, for him to go home, it needs to be at about 500 or above. So it's good that it's dropped because now we can watch it come back up and look forward to him coming home. Um, the doctor thinks that he will, so he's definitely going to be in the hospital through this week. Um, for his treatment on Friday and through the weekend, I would guess, and everything. But the hope is that he will get to come home sometime next week before his next treatment, before that Friday treatment. So we'd have to go back for that treatment. Um, but that would be outpatient, like he would be home. He is going to have to come home still taking steroids, still checking his blood sugar, still giving himself insulin. Um, he's now on a restricted carbohydrate diet. Um, to try to help mod uh, try to help control that a little better. So I assume he'll be continuing on something like that. But you know we can we can figure out how to manage all of this at home. Um, like we're gonna have to. That's just what I mean, I would so much rather have him home with us and have a ton of things to try to juggle than not have him here. Um, so that's kind of how he's doing medically. Um, he's been very tired. He's been napping a lot. Um, he's lost quite a bit of weight, both from the blood sugar instability and from, you know, being in bed all the time and not getting up and being active and just like the whole disease process is just taking a lot out of him. So, uh, yeah, so he's lost quite a bit of weight, but... Hopefully once he gets home, he'll be able to put some of it back on. Um, and he's, for the most part, staying really upbeat and positive. It helps when he has a lot of visitors and they kind of distract him. And, you know, he really has enjoyed seeing friends and family a lot. Um, I have been having a lot of kind of ups and downs in my emotional state. Um, yesterday... Yesterday and like the night before were really difficult. I was having a really hard time and um, just I like I've kind of passed the sad about all of this happening stage and now I'm into like I'm angry like I am angry that this is happening to all of us. I'm angry that we have to go through all of this. I'm angry that we've had to give up so many of these things that like these amazing great things that were right there. Like, we were almost, we, you know, we're going to be closing on a house at the end of this month. Like, 
all of this stuff that finally after um, after years, of, at least of my own struggles, it was like, you know, great, like life is actually going well and we're, we're doing all of these great things and then the rug gets pulled out from under us. And um, so yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm angry. And I think I have a right to be. Um, but it's definitely hard to hard to deal with that and process it and um, get to a point where I can kind of accept that this is just what's happened and you know we'll get through it and then we'll move on and we'll have all of those things hopefully um, one of the things that I, I, I feel like I mentioned it before, um, but one of the big things that I'm struggling with quite a bit right now is, you know, we wanted another kid soon, um, and it's unclear um, whether that's going to happen or not. Um, it will happen eventually, even if it doesn't happen kind of on our planned timetable, but... Um, I, I don't want Lex to be four years apart from his next sibling, which is what they would be if we waited as the doctor has recommended. And um, so anyway, so there's just a lot that I'm kind of processing and trying to come to terms with and trying to deal with. And, um, and I'm also just angry that Eric's not here. Um, even if he can't help, I'm... I'm angry that he's not here with us. Um, he's missing out on a lot of Lex's stuff. And that's hard. But, um, but hopefully he'll be home soon. Um, and I am planning on, we'll see how it goes, but I'm planning on leaving Lex with a friend overnight on Wednesday to go spend the night at the hospital. Um, which Eric is really looking forward to. I'm... I have mixed emotions about it. Like, I'm excited to get to go and, and spend a night there, but I'm kind of scared for leaving Lex. Like, not scared. Like, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He might have a bad night, but, like, whatever. He'll be fine. Um, but it's like, you know, I haven't been away from him for a night before, and so it's, yeah. We'll get through it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so... That's kind of, this has not been a quick update, but that's the update. Lex is awake now, so I need to go grab him, um, and we're going to go hang out with my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew and a couple of her friends for a little while this afternoon and get some errands run and stuff like that. So, um, so that's it for now. I will update again when I have a chance and or have some information to update with. So um, hope you're all doing well. I am not keeping up with videos really at all, but I have such little downtime that it's uh, it's not high on my priority list right now, but um, I do hope to kind of catch up with people soon once things calm down a little bit. So yeah, so I hope you're all doing well, having a good Monday, and I will talk to you again soon.